Hey, so I'm going to show you um, how to get your names to kind of show up differently. Um, any any devices that are connected to the host port on your iConnectivity. Um, so I'm going to give you an idea here. So let me just first let's go into audio MIDI setup, and I'm already there. So normally it shows up on this audio page right here. Um, so I'm actually just going to close that and just go to window and show MIDI Studio. We're going to use the MIDI Studio a few times. Um, specifically, we're using it right now with the Mio 10. Um, you can kind of see the port names here. They're kind of generic. I'm going to reset those in a second, but uh, so let's get to that. Let me actually bring up my iConfig application. There we go. so many versions of it. Um, okay, I guess it was the second one. Alright, let's just open this up. I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is reset this Mio 10. There we go, Mio 10, and if you want to do a factory reset, restore factory defaults, hit yes. Just take a second to reset that up. All right, cool. There we go. So basically, we want to change the names to any of the devices um, connected to our house port. If you have multiple devices, this is obviously very useful. Now, Mio 10 is kind of different because if we look at the Mio 10, I'm going to go to the mini info tab here. If you look at the Mio 10, it has a lot connected. Um, it has 10 DIN ports, it has up to 10 devices um, that it can connect through the USB host jack and um, four Ethernet ports. So if you're doing your math, that's 24 ports. And if you look at the USB device jacks, one or two, uh, specifically I'm plugged into two right now. But if you look at the, at the device jacks, there's only 16 ports available. So obviously we're gonna have to do some like configuring. That's why um, you know HST four to ten are connected together and ETH one to four are connected together. Um, it's because there's just not enough ports. So we can name these whatever we want. So if we only had like say seven DIN devices. But I had, you know, more more H and more host device forces, um, yeah, host device connected. Then I can start doing something like this. So this ends at four to ten, right? So I could go and rename this to just T five, just T six. Say I had eight of them connected. Right, and then I'm going to rename this to just four. So now, in order to get our routing to match up, we're going to have to go to our MIDI port routing tab right here. And we are looking at these guys right here. So if you look at it, DIN 1 to DIN 1, DIN 2 to DIN 2, they're matching up from left side to right side until we go to HSD 5, which is DIN 7, because by default that's what it was. So we're going to Disconnect that. We're gonna go five here. We're gonna go six, seven, and eight. So we've just switched those over. Um, and HST four will remove those routings. We're just not gonna use those um, in that in that spot. So that's what we've done. Um, so now what we want to do is let's go back to MIDI info. I've connected a single device here, so you can see the key station. You always want to reserve these devices, and I like giving it a name. So select in there, and keys. Let's go with that. Um, so I've put that in the host jack one. Now, since I've put that in the host jack one, if we look at the port routing page, you can see the name's updated. Now, if you look, there's a, a lot of routing here. I'm going to deselect all this. 
because uh, I don't want it to go everywhere. I just want it to go into my into my computer. So I leave the port that's on USB device jack two and one, um, which is the eleventh port. So if I look at which the eleventh port is, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I'm gonna do it on the other one. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Those should match up now. You notice that HST one. 11 for is HST1. So those should match up. So what I'm going to do to make sure the name is correct, and I want this, I want that name to show up in my doll. Now when I named it down here, that, that's not a name that's going to show up in my doll. If you want the name to show up, you're going to have to change it under the USB device jack because that's what the computer's reading. It's reading what's on that USB cable. So we're going to go here. We're going to do HST1 and we're going to rename to mini keys. We're going to hit device, save current settings, and that's all saved. Now we're going to go back to our audio MIDI setup, and there is our Mio 10. Now I'm on Sierra, it's got this little refresh button that looks like this. Um, older versions have one that says uh, rescan MIDI and it's got like a little magnifying glass and some type of box or something there. Um, anyways, it says rescan. So if you click on that, it should rescan the unit and try and rename these ports. You can see it's still the old VP that I used to have. Um, and unfortunately, um, Apple doesn't always like to rescan them well. I'm not sure why. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of messing about with. Um, so whatever is seen on this page is what your DAW is going to see. So if this still says VP1, it's still going to send VP1 in your DAW. Um, so what you want to do is you're going to want to get this updated. So if this rescan is not working, what I recommend doing is disconnecting your Mio 10. just realized that I actually have it connected to port one so that wasn't very smart okay I'm gonna rename the love port uh, MIDI keys wow that was awesome Good job to me either way it should have like should have updated to din one and stuff when I refreshed it but Click on the device and hit refresh. And you can see it's still being a pain and not changing these because it doesn't like me. So I'm going to disconnect the USB cable to this guy. You can see it just kind of like grayed out. So click on it and hit the negative button or on any previous versions of Mac, you're gonna to wanna to hit uh, remove device. It's got like a keyboard and a little X. So we're gonna remove it, and now we're gonna plug the USB back in. Should show back up. And now if you actually look at this, look what we have here, mini keys right in the seventh spot, and all these DINs re reconnected. So that's all you need to do. And once this changes, this should show up in your DAW. Um, I mean, obviously it depends on the DAW, but it should it should show up in here. So let me let me open live and just see if it's actually changed over on this from those default settings. Even it's coming. It just takes a minute. I got a lot open. Yep, I heard you. All right, so if we go to live prefs, yeah, I don't, uh, I'm not sure if live will do this. Yeah, there we go. So you can see right here, Mio 10 input mini keys. So that should update just like that. Hopefully this helps you out. Thanks.